All this is doc Dr. Moveen Sayed from drbean.com. Let us start our session for today. What I wanted to do today in light of the discussion with Dr. Paul Merrick yesterday, I wanted to look at what are the ways for us to figure out what kind of a stage for the disease we are in and how do we know um, what are our vitamin D levels? How do we know what is our CRP level, which is for inflammation and so on. So the discussion today is what are the meters and test kits that are available that we can have at home and use them to stay protected at this specific time. So let us start our discussion. Today's discussion, all of it is about just like we have glucometers at home to see our glucose levels, what are other meters, especially for vitamin D, that are available at home that we can use to look at our vitamin D levels. So let us start. So there is a, a question by Luke Caspi. Uh, Luke, we can do this discussion in detail on this Friday as well. But yes, from Dr. Marek's discussion yesterday, this is the uh, basic um, operating theory that if the viral load initially is a lot in our body and the virus ends up replicating a lot and, and becoming large in quantity, then even when it is dead, there is a lot of debris present in throughout our body or in the lungs and then our immune system is just going nuts trying to, to attack that debris. So the virus is not doing anything. Immune system is doing something. So all right, let's start. <clears throat> the very first meter. So I have been spending, I think, yesterday, last night, and today trying to figure out what are the at-home test kits that we can have. I know, of course, there are test kits that are available for labs because labs do our tests all the time. So they have the kits. What kits can we have for home? So this is the first one that I found. This is Kiveno. This is a vitamin D rapid test at home or at the point of care. Look at the price here. It is Euro 39. And if you buy from their website for lesser than 50, then they charge you some shipping prices as well. And, <laughs> and here are the prices, Austria 1.9 euro and Germany and Switzerland and that. All other countries, including UK, Ireland, 290. So even if it is three euros additional, that will be 39 plus 342 euros. I do not know if they have a, um, a point here in the US or not. But this is this is awesome. So they can tell you the vitamin D levels. So let's look at how this works. So first of all, for us to know what kind of a stage we are at, what, what are the things, the meters that we need? So look, of course, we've talked about it. Thermometer is very important. Oximeter, I have my oximeter here. It's $10, $15 from Amazon. Oximeter is very important. The reason for that is that if we are unsure or if we do not have any other meters that can tell us what is the level of CRP, C-reactive protein, which is an inflammatory protein, or ferritin, or D-dimers, then oximeter for sure is going to tell us if we are deteriorating. So clinically, although it is a meter, it is going to tell us the oxygen levels, but still clinically, how fast are we deteriorating? That is going to be from the hypoxia that we feel and the oxygen levels. So thermometer, oximeter, blood pressure monitor uh, things, and then the glucose meters, these are critical, critical for all of us to have. So oximeter, we should have that. We had talked about it in the past as well, that hygrometer for home to understand the moisture level is also very important. Now, additionally, what do we want to know? We want to know wh what is our vitamin D level because vitamin D is, I think, one of the most important nutrients, vitamins, hormones, whatever you want to call it, for us at this time. Because there are clear studies that show a link 
of vitamin D to the severity of the a deficiency of vitamin D to the severity of the COVID-19. So vitamin D level for that, my request will be, and I have no financial um, associations with any of the people or the test kits or the companies that I'm going to show here, nothing. I Googled them, I found them, I read them up, and then I figured out which one seems to be better. So this one for vitamin D, I could not find anything for calcium levels. Although there are many test kits on the web, which, which are for home calcium and magnesium levels for water and the water hardened waters level, but not for the blood calcium level. So if you know something that can do that, please tell me or please put that in the comment. Of course, glucometer. There is also cholesterol level test kits as well for home. I would believe that not all of us need that. That will be specifically for those who may have hypertension or may have cholesterol issues or may have cardiac failures and they want to keep a check on their cholesterols. C-reactive protein, ferritin, D-dimers, which are for um, inflammatory state, which is then shown to us by our oximeter as well. So there are some um, test kits for that as well, and I'm going to show you those. With this, as um, we just saw that there was a question from Luke as well, that how about masks? So look, masks, as Dr. Merrick said that yesterday as well, masks, masks, masks. If we can keep our viral load low, we can have almost asymptomatic um, COVID-19 or mildly symptomatic COVID-19 because the amount of virus is less in our body. And then keep your viral load, viral load low, keep your immune system sane. It Don't let it go insane. And now, what is the benefit of having and how does this, this uh, Kiveno vitamin D meter works? So here is how it works. So for that uh, 39 euros or 42 euros, I would request everyone to buy it. What this is, is this. Number one, you take your blood. Two, you kind of... Um, put that blood, blood in a pipette or pipette and you dissolve it. Then you, you dissolve it in another solution so or dilute it. Once you have diluted it into the solution, they send you this little kit as well on which you drop the blood drops. And then once the blood drops have, have been put on it or this diluted solution drops, then you wait for up to 15 minutes. And in the control and test strips here, in the control and test strip, there will, there will be bars that would appear. And then you read those bars with your phone, which they have an app. And then based on that reading, the phone or their app would tell you the vitamin D levels that you have. This is, this is critical for all of us to have. So I wanted to make sure that we see this. Now let me go over some other testing systems as well. So this is the pricing for the Kiva, Kinwa, whatever the name was. This is another testing um, antibody at home antibody test kit in the UK that they are testing. And so if you see here, um, <clears throat> it is nature video and the title is, and I have these links in the description. The title is we test a home antibody kit for tracking COVID-19 transmission. And what they have is, if you see here, there is a link to that as well. They get this kit. It's a very similar kit like vitamin D kit, where you take your blood, you put that blood sample on that kit, and then you read control and test, and it will tell you if you had antibodies or not. So really important. Then here on Amazon, this is the oximeter. Again, the link there, I have no uh, association with them. This is the cholesterol check meter. So this, the price, if you look at it, this is about $84. And with that, I think there is further um, price for the, the strips that you buy with them. And the strips can give you the reading. So let me see the readings here. So here, there are readings for cholesterol level, and then for the HDL level, and then triglyceride levels. 
So I think if this is something, if you are hypertensive or if you have any cardiac issues, it may be useful to have this meter as well. This is a video where they have used this meter and then sent the results to, then they sent the blood to normal lab as well and then compared the results. And they, these results were quite similar. Now going to D-dimers. So for inflammation, so if I wanted to know, just like Dr. Marek was talking about yesterday, has my immune system started to cause an issue or become dysregulated? One way to know that will be our oximeter would start showing a decline in oxygen levels. The second will be to understand what are the D-dimer levels, that is for coagulation, ferritin level, that is also for coagulopathies, and C-reactive protein, which is for inflammation. Most of the tests are in the following way. There are three classes of tests that I'm seeing. One is that you go to your hospital or clinic, uh, clinic, they draw your blood and they get the test done. That's one. Other is that you buy some sort of blood collecting kit from CVS or someplace, local pharmacy. You collect your blood, you send it to the lab, and they would send you the results back within two to five days. The problem is that this disease progresses so fast that two to five days may not be sufficient, maybe too long, and you may have or we may have dysregulated before then. So here is, at least in the UK, here is a test kit for D-dimers and D-dimer for coagulopathy. This is purely at home test kit. <coughs> Excuse me. And, the, and if you look at the price here, 26, 27 pound. And it works the same way as we saw with the uh, vitamin D levels. And what you do is you draw your blood and then you put that blood here, the sample, and then control and test strips would then light up. And based on that, you would know if you have D-dimers or not. Similarly, the same company, if, if you actually go here, shop by department, you can see various kind of test kits that they have available. For example, for cholesterol and diabetes, drug and alcohol, pregnancy, fertility, health and well-being, in which these test kits that I'm showing you are there, and so on. The same company also sells this C-reactive protein test kit. This is an important test kit for inflammation. So price, 10 pounds. And I think it is a ship within two to three days. So here is once again the, the same thing as we saw before. They have a couple of uh, ways to draw the blood and then apply it to a sample and then kit and then see the results. The whole thing is at home. So if you see here, you draw the blood. Then here is the blood drawn. You, you, you pick that up in a pipette and then you dilute that in that solution. And then from there, you apply that on the sample kit. And then the, there will be a light that would light up. Or there would be a line that would become darkened. And that would tell you what is the CRP level. Their CRP levels, they can only measure from 8, I believe, nanogram per milliliter to 100 nanogram per milliliter. They cannot measure above that. And we know that for the... Uh, for the COVID patient, sometimes it can go above 100 and even in hundreds. But still knowing that it has gone 200 and more is important as well. So not very expensive, 10 pounds. I think it's worthwhile to have it. Then this is another um, news here. I was actually very, very ex much excited about this one. This is inflammatory markers at home. And this kit was invented in Finland. However, this news is from 2017. And I saw this news a lot in 2017 that the researchers in Finland have figured out a way to figure out the C-reactive protein and D-dimers and other inflammatory protein markers. But after 2017, I have not seen any of their product anywhere. So maybe they did a research-based project. They thought they could make it, but they never ended up making a company and making a product. Now, this is another test here. This is a CRP test 
from home to lab. So here is the kit that is available on CVS. You draw your blood and you send it to them and they would send you the results back within two to five days. This is another, uh, in theory, a device or a strip which would then monitor the heart failure. So just like we have CRP for inflammation, ferritin and um, what was that? The D-dimers for coagulopathies. Here we have BNP, which is type B natriuretic peptide. It is a molecule that is released when our heart is failing. And this is a test kit to look at that. And we know that cardiac comorbidities are an issue for COVID-19. So if somebody wants to monitor their cardiac condition at home, they can buy these test kits that tell about BNP. The only thing that I have, the only concern that I have is that I haven't seen comparative results of these kits to say, okay, if the BNP here, this kit at home says BNP level is this, is that really true for the same level to be found in the lab as well? So I do not know their accuracy, their sensitivity, and their specificity. And now final part today, there are some kits that are professional as well. So these are used in the, in the clinics or labs. For example, here, this is Quiddle's triage meter. So this is the meter here, and this meter has its cartridges like these. And then you use those cartridges in the clinic to do the labs. So these are, of course, a little more expensive. For example, this one is $6,148. And then this the cartridge for this is $789. Similarly, here, if you see, this is an Abbott's handheld uh, blood analyzer. So the price is about $18,500. And then it has cartridges. For example, here, this is a cartridge for blood gas and electrolytes and sodium, potassium, ionized, and blah, and lots of things here. These are 25 strips in each cartridge or in each bag. And that the price is 550. So first you have to invest like $18,000 or $19,000 to have the analyzer. And then for each 25 cartridges, it's a 550. So the, this is the discussion for today. Once again, I would request if you can get a chance buy Kivano's vitamin D levels so that you can keep your vitamin D levels in check have the oximeter with you as well. If you can get the C-reactive protein meters as well, which are these guys, these guys, then that will be awesome. Again, no financial co connections anywhere. Just wanted to make sure that we are aware of these test kits that are available. So thank you very much for the discussion, uh, for being with me. I hope you liked the discussion with Dr. Paul Merrick yesterday. It is, it was, brilliant and I hope we can continue to share that with others so we can save more lives so I will see you tomorrow thank you very much <laughs>